It was my first job in New York after I graduated uh, from college. I was a runner at the TKTS booth. That meant that I would go to the theaters and they would give me, you know, 100 seats in the balcony to go on sale for the matinee. Uh, and I'd come back for some reason, even though we would have a, we'd have a TKTS armband uh, uh, on our arm and a lot of cash in those bags. Nobody would ever mug us on, uh, on our way to the theater. Um, but we would, uh, it, it's, it's also how I uh, got my first professional writing job. We would answer questions um, uh, when we weren't running to the theaters. We would answer questions that people had online. And some of the questions were just really funny. Um, like people would wait online for an hour and a half and then ask for two hot dogs with mustard and relish. Uh, but I pitched a story to Playbill magazine about the funny story, the questions people were asking me on the TKTS line. They paid me $200 um, uh, for my story. And that was my first professional writing gig. My, my experience with TKTS is um, uh, working with those amazing kids who like work on the lines and really help get the shows out and a lot of them came to my last show pictures from home and I met with them and they were so excited and so generous and so enthusiastic about the work and I just think it's a great program for getting people in and for 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 getting kids started in terms of the work that we do uh, you know what's relevant to me might not be uh, the same thing that's relevant to you. Uh, I wouldn't want a young playwright to think that, uh, that, that they can't write something that takes place in the 17th century. Um, uh, uh, something that takes place in the 17th century can be relevant. Uh, I, I would tell them that somewhere inside of them Something is burning. Uh, okay, there's 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 an emotion that's burning. There's an idea, uh, and to follow that, uh, if they can. Well, you have to be with other human beings, right? And the great thing about live theater is you have to be in a room with a lot of other people. So it makes you really experience your community, your country, your you know your city. And I think it's very very big part of like ancient uh, health. Uh, to be among others, to experience a story together, and to you know um, celebrate or be critical of, or or change by, or thoughtful of any kind of uh, group activity of being in a theater. There's, uh, you know, I, I, I've been incredibly lucky, and so is Bart. We we have both uh, had an opportunity to make movies, make television shows, and do theater. Uh, and as much as I love movies and, uh, and television, there is nothing like the experience of being in a theater with an audience uh, uh, for a play. That was the biggest thing that we missed during COVID uh, uh, was audiences, not, uh, not being with other people. Uh, it's uh, a, a group of people, um, everybody, laughing at the same thing, silent at the same thing, gasping at the same thing, crying at the same thing, cheering for the same thing. It's an incredible experience that you never forget. Um, and that's why we've got to get everybody in there, especially young people.